How the Hamsters Saved Winter was a lost animated movie about Hampton and the Hamsters going on a snowy adventure where they help make a family's dream come true. It is unknown who directed or starred in the movie, but it was produced by Abatis International and animated by an unknown company in New Jersey. The movie was listed for sale as well as released on April 2nd, 2009 on the Hamster Dance website, with a link to order it through the site Kanaki. The DVD was available to purchase as late as 2012. However, now when someone clicks on the link, they could be directed to a page that says product not available. The movie's existence was confirmed in an article from 2018 where Bill Porfido, who was the owner of the Hamster Dance property, confirmed roughly 2,000 copies of the movie were sold. On January 23, 2020, the Hamsters Dance official website domain was shut down and is currently seeking renewal. However, considering the website hasn't been updated since 2011, renewal seems unlikely. Then finally, on January 13th, 2022, on the Lost Media Wiki Discord, user Jen announced that she had a copy of the film, sharing an image of a signed copy on a blank DVD. Jen explained that her father was friends with the director and that he gave her the DVD when she was a kid. Jen would later upload the entire film and the music videos on the DVD on archive.org. Brain Rush was a live-action game show that premiered on Cartoon Network on June 20th, 2009 as part of the CN Real Block. The series took place at the Knott's Berry Farm theme park in California where three contestants would ride a roller coaster and answer trivia questions to win money. The contestant with the least amount of money would drop out before the next round. The first, second, and third rounds would take place on the Boomerang, Silver Bullet, and Accelerator. The final contestant had the chance to win $5,000 in prize money. Brain Rush and other CN Real shows received poor reception for airing on a channel known for primarily airing cartoons. The show was also criticized for its poor quality, leading it to being cancelled on July 22nd, 2009. According to a comment made by the other side's archive, the full series was available on YouTube but was later taken down. Episodes of the show used to be available in full as part of the Cartoon Network video service during the months of June 2009 to July 2009. However, these uploads of the full episodes were quickly pulled after the series' abrupt cancellation. Then, in late January 2018, Lost Media Wiki user Comic Kid found episode 5 and was able to extract the episode from iTunes and has since been uploaded to YouTube. One month later, on February 1st, 2018, another Lost Media Wiki user named Johnny2x4 found a minute and a half clip of the show and uploaded it onto archive.org. Then finally, on January 3rd, 2022, the finale of Brain Rush was uploaded to Dex's YouTube channel after getting a copy from Lost Media Wiki user Race Olympics. In August 2009, the American game show Who Wants to Be a Millionaire celebrated 10 years of being on the air. To go along with the anniversary, the show returned to ABC for 11 episodes with the show's original host Regis Philbin returning to host, making this the first time the show had aired in primetime since 2004 Super Millionaire and the ABC version's cancellation in June 2002. This would also be the last time the show would air on the network before the show's permanent return to the network in April 2020, and it would also be Philbin's last time hosting the show before its passing in July later that year. While the special was airing, YouTube user RomeGenLand2 uploaded episodes 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, and 8 in small parts. However, in April 2020, user Trips Gaming uploaded episodes 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, and 11 in their entirety. However, he did not upload episodes 3, 6, 9, and 10. This is the only version of the show that has not been reran on Game Show Network, and with the show's return in 2020, it's unlikely that the reruns of the special will ever happen. Then finally, on January 6th, 2022, episodes 3, 6, 9, and 10 would later be recovered by Lost Media Wiki user Race Olympics, and they would all be posted on archive.org. In between the first and second series of The Monsters, they appeared in a one-hour special called Marineland Carnival. It featured the entire original cast on location. The reason for their visit is that they are looking for a new pet for Eddie. It was shot entirely in Marineland in the Pacific, which was a tourist attraction in California which actually closed in 1987. The park managed to attract several TV programs over the years. They even filmed some of the show The A-Team there, until right before it closed, and even years after its sudden closure, it is still used as a filming location today. Reviewers who have seen the Marineland special, namely those of the San Diego Reader and Pulp Cola Tour, describe it as not too good, and a commercial for Marineland that did not change any schedule to facilitate the filming. Which actually, the show is not written by their regular writers Joe Canelli and Bob Mosher. It was shot on videotape and never repeated. 
A film copy actually exists at the Paley Center in New York. The reviewers also note that the film has severely deteriorated. In late 2016, it was posted on archive.org, as mentioned on sitcoms online and on Facebook. However, archive.org has since taken the video offline, so it has gone back to being lost. Until finally, on January 2nd, 2022, a mirror of the special was randomly re-uploaded to archive.org by user Tigerbug. Firehazard was a 2003 demo released by the anarchist folk punk band Johnny Hobo and the Fright Trains. A small number of physical copies were sold in person and through their website before it went out of print. Most tracks have been re-recorded and are in circulation on later albums. There is evidence to suggest that there may still be copies of the demo out there somewhere. A Reddit user claimed in 2018 that they owned a copy of Firehazard which they had received from Patrick Schneewise in high school. They posted a picture of the alleged CD but claimed that they were unable to presently upload it due to not having a disk drive. And then finally, on January 6th, 2022, a user named Punk Folk Archivist reached out to Michael Schneewise who is the brother of a member on the band. He then got permission to release it and officially upload it onto Bandcamp. <laughs> 